Let's pick up that conversation. Yeah, so we, we found out you don't drink, and yeah. there's I'm not a against good drinking in any way. Yeah. But those who want that buzz, want that high, uh, where else can they get it? What do you suggest? Well, we were just saying that uh, you know, I, both my parents were alcoholics, so it's not like I'm against drinking. It's just the the way they behaved at that point was kind of abusive, and kind of was very abusive, and so I didn't want to be part of that. Uh, but. We all want to be able to change the way we feel. That's what I spend my life showing people how to do. And what most people don't know is emotion is created by motion. The way you move determines the way you feel. You have 80 different muscles in your face, 80. For most people, this is the largest area of unemployment in the country. <laughs> they use their ma the face the same way. They feel the same emotions over and over and over again. So what I was saying is I have this deal with myself called priming. Every day, I say, look, you got to have 10 minutes for yourself. If you don't have 10 minutes for yourself, you don't have a life. And I'm not going to hope I feel good. I, don't, I just got back uh, six countries in 12 days. I was in India two days ago. Wow. And I woke up here wanting, like, feeling like a, somebody ran me over with a truck. <laughs> you know? But and you I, got yourself psyched up. But, and... the, but the way I did it is I do this process. It's 10 minutes. I put some music on. I do this massive change in my breathing, so it radically changes the way I feel. And then I do this three-step process. First, I do three minutes of gratitude, where I think of three things I'm really grateful for, and I associate. I don't think of it over there. I feel it. And the reason is, when you're grateful, you can't be worried. You can't be fearful. When you're grateful, you can't be angry. And anger and fear are what screw people up most in their relationships, mm -hmm. in their life, in their business. So I wire myself. I was saying to you that most people want to be happy, but their habit is to be worried or pissed off or frustrated <laughs> or stressed. And so they're, they've got a highway to stress and they've got a dirt road to happiness. So I wire myself. I've got a highway to gratitude, which changes all your emotions. And then I do three-minute process of kind of a prayer for my family and friends, and then I do a three-minute process of the top three things I want to accomplish. I see it as done, and I feel it. I'm done in 10 minutes. So sometimes I go 20. But my deal is 10, so there's no excuse not to do it. You know what? I think it's a great way to kind of set the tone for it, the day. It does. It, cha it changes. Listen, we've all had times when you snapped at somebody and you felt bad because it wasn't them. It was the state you're in, right? Well, there's no excuse for that. If you prime yourself, you set yourself up. They've done studies where they go to people and they have a man walk up to you and say, could you hold this for me, hand you a cup of coffee? It's an actor. And then he takes it, takes them out of his pocket, then he takes it back and says, thank you. 100 people they do it with iced coffee, 100 people do it with hot coffee. 45 minutes later, another actor comes by and says, listen, we're doing this little test for $5. Would you read this three paragraphs and answer three questions? Most people say yes. It's a little story. The questions are about the character. What's the character like? 80% of the people that got iced coffee say the person is cold and mean. Wow. 81% of the people that got hot coffee say the person is warm and gentle or nice. That's how much we can be primed by our environment. We think we're just feeling what we're feeling, but our environment, if we don't take control of our environment, it takes control of us. Pretty wild, Tony. Now, they, this is easy for you to say. Look at you. You're like you're an investment banker. You probably have a, a <laughs> master's from Harvard. I bet you have None three degrees from Harvard. <laughs> no, I've got a high school education. So what right. happened? You never went to college? Well, um, my mom, uh, I was going to USC. I wanted to be a, a sports. I was taking journalism. I was getting a scholarship. And then I had some major challenges with my family. I had to take care of them. And then my mom got very upset. I have four different fathers. So I kind of had to take over. And so I went and started my first business at 17, and what I was started that? from there. It was working for a man named Jim Rohn, and then I started off and became a seminar broker. I actually filled other people's seminar events. And then I got better than the people I was promoting, and after a while, I decided, heck, I should do my own. And then I began to just expand and do work. And when I started turning around athletes and Olympic athletes, and then I got to Nelson Mandela and Mother Teresa, wow. and, and then I got to President Clinton, and it just grew, grew, grew. Um, if I, what was Mother Teresa doing wrong before she met me? <laughs> <laughs> come on. No, you know what happened? She was in San Diego, and she, I don't know if you remember, years ago, she got very ill, and they rushed her to the hospital, and I guess like three days into it, she left in the middle of the night. Can you imagine? You're in the hospital, and you lose Mother Teresa, <laughs> no, and she wrote a note that says, thank you for your help, but I have to help people that are in need. I can't sit here, and she went across the border to Mexico, and she said, if you really want to help, don't send me a hospital. Send me a mobile medical unit. So in those days, I, had, uh, I was friends with a very famous actor, and he and I, I were both fans of hers. And I said, why don't we just go buy this? You and I don't do a press conference. Let's drive it across the border. Let's give it to her. We'll get a chance to visit with her. And, uh, and so anyway, bottom line, we did. And when I was with her, I said to her, I said, you know, it's such a pleasure to meet you. And I always want to learn about people. So I'd say, listen, I'm wondering, what, like, what, what, excite, what juices you? What excites you? What, what makes you more excited than anything else? And I'm thinking, juice you and none, maybe not the best term. <laughs> And she looked and she said something I'll never forget. She said, Tony, she said, what excites me most is see a person die 
with a smile on their face. Wow. And I was like, wow, not number one on my list, but I'm impressed. Wow. <laughs> She's an amazing woman. So, Tony, uh, one of the critics, actually, that I once met said, yeah, Tony's techniques, they were great for about a year and a half, and then they wore off. <laughs> what do you say to that, yeah. if you folks? Don't, if, say? Yeah, it's real simple. If you don't work out, you don't get a, you don't get a muscle, right? right? So I always tell people, this is, there's a daily practice, like priming. If you don't do that, if you get up and you just have no discipline whatsoever, you get no value of anything. You know, diets don't work when you don't do them. Exercise doesn't work when you don't do them. But most of the people have some experiences that they want to shift. And once you shift those things, your whole life changes. But life is constant growth. My life isn't here because I went to one seminar one time and now my life is fit for life. I, I work out, I train my mind, I train my body. It becomes a lifestyle. It's not just uh, like you're depending upon somebody else. I'm not here to become somebody's guru. I'm not here to give them a gift. I'm here for them to open up their own gifts. And that's really what my work has been. So, okay, I, I know you're priming yourself every day. Does it, every now and then, do, do, do you get hit by depression? Are you upset, anxious? I get frustrated, I get angry, I get all those things. I just don't stay there. I mean, I used to be there for a month or two. I, was, I used to live in depression. I was 38 pounds heavier than I am now. I, I lost all everything. I moved into a little 400 square foot bachelor apartment in Venice, California, feeling sorry for myself. But I got so near the end where you think life has no meaning, it scared the hell out of me and I developed tools and I've never gone back there. I mean, have I gotten pissed or angry? Of course, people still think, you're not happy all the time. Are you? <laughs> no, I'm not happy all the time. But I'm happy the vast majority of the time because I'm doing what I love with who I love and there's a meaning in what I do. And when you have those three things, Life is pretty magnificent. One thing I was very surprised to hear, and I thought it was delightful, but you, you had a lot to say about nutrition at the seminar yes, that I attended. Yes. And a lot of folks don't associate that with you. Yes. What do you eat? Well, I'm, I, I'm, I'm no longer a vegan. I was a vegan for about 15, 18 years. So I eat fish and I eat vegetables, but I, I'm a boring diet. Now, my wife, when I first met her, she, she liked wheatgrass and she was a phlebotomist and nutritionist and I thought this is going to be the greatest thing in the world. I went to lunch with her and afterwards we had this great clean meal and she had a hot fudge sundae. I said, what the hell are you doing? She was living, you jerk. You know? So she exactly. loosened me up. She has this zigzag. We zig and, we, and then she zags and has that. And so she, I'm a much more balanced than I was, but I'm still, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm stronger than I've been when I can lift at 55 years old than when I was 27, right? I'm I can run faster, I feel stronger. There are limits to what you can do as you age, but thus far I haven't hit that limit yet. I mean, my event, as you know, I go on stage, I'm on, I do 18 to 20 miles in the first day, and I do 26 miles. I'm on from eight in the morning to 1 a.m. with a one hour break, and people oh can vote goodness. with their feet. Oprah says to me, Tony, she's, you know, I love you, but I can't sit anywhere for two hours. And then she's standing on a couch at the end on camera. Going, this is one of the greatest experiences of my life. Usher, same thing. He goes, Tony, I can't go anywhere for a day. And four days later, he's like, this is incredible. You know? What do you do? You have people doing calisthenics in, no. your, in your show? Or? No, well, no, what it is is I don't have people sitting still, right? You know, it's like, I remember I said emotion comes from motion. And also, a minute feels like an eternity when you don't like what you're doing. Right. When you're, all your needs are fulfilled, time flies. So I get time to disappear for people so they can transform. And I do it because I've done it for so long. I can take, now I'm doing an event in LA um, in a couple weeks in October 22nd, 23rd, 24th, and we have 8,000 people from, I think it's 49 countries are translating five languages. And people from every walk of life, from young kids to people older, athletes, entertainers, a average people will all come and become a family and transform in ways that are just extraordinary. At the end, it feels like a mosh pit, like at a, at a, at a, <laughs> at a, a giant concert with people, and they just have a blast. Yeah, great music, by the way. Really? You're, you're a heavy metal guy. I was trying to tell <laughs> well, him I was that. You like a lot. I, when, I, when I heard ACDC, Greg says, oh, Tony likes this. Tony likes ACDC? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but we love everything. We do a mix because we, we, we use music as the soundtrack to our lives. And so we pull from all kinds of types of music. I think you were like so a John Tesh stuff. kind of guy. That new <laughs> John age kind Tesh. Of, you know, that new age kind of music. No, <laughs> Not so much. No, no. Oh, wow. Sorry, John Tesh. No, no disrespect, John. <laughs> all right, Tony Robbins. Once again, TonyRobbins.com. People can go there. And yes. also America's Best 401k. Yeah, or they can go to ShowMeTheFees.com.